Einstein says that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Most artists that I meet, most unsigned or independent artists that I meet are doing and trying these same tactics that have never worked. And they're doing it over and over, expecting that one, one day these marketing tactics are just going to work and they're just going to blow up and be some big name brand platinum artist. And it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like, for instance, I'm going to break down a list of things that don't work and they've never worked. And you can't name one artist that's blew up from any of the things I'm about to tell you. Getting your music on different playlists. There are so many different websites that say, hey, we could get your music on a playlist and that way it's going to help you actually gain more streams and gain more fans and you could blow up that way. But the problem with that is 100% of every website that I see out right now who are actually playlisting artists, they're all scams and they're all bots because what they do is they create these fake playlists and then they use form bots to flood the playlist with, with fake plays. And then they place your single on one of those playlists and then they have the bots just uh, give you fake plays over and over. And what's happening right now is a lot of artists are getting their Spotify accounts deleted. You see, most of these websites, they're just bots when it comes to actually getting your music on playlists. They're just using form bots. That's why Spotify is cracking down and, and deleting so many different artists um, Spotify accounts because it doesn't work yet. I know artists that book a call in my program. And when we do a strategy or a discovery call for the past three years, they've just been paying these different playlists, thinking that they're getting 20,000 or 30,000 fans per month when they're all fake. They're all bots. Nobody, you can't name one artist that's ever blew up from paying one of these websites to put them on a playlist. So why are you paying them? Mu um, let's, let's say music marketing companies. There's not one music marketing company on this earth, on this planet right now, that's responsible for making an artist blow up or go platinum. Yet every artist that I meet, they're always paying these different like websites that say, hey, we can market it, we can promote your music. Like they're paying these different Indian people on Fiverr or they're just, no matter if it's, if it's an agency, a music agency, or if it's somebody like on Fiverr, that's an Indian guy that's like charging you 50 bucks. Every artist pays a music marketing company or a music promotional company, and none of them work because nobody could name one person that's, that's ever blew up from doing it. So why are you doing it? Why are you keep doing it? Again, Einstein says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. What else? Going to open mic nights. Have you ever heard of anybody ever blowing up from a fucking open mic night? Because the only person that's winning is the promoter because you had to actually pay him to get on stage. Nobody is going to save you and nobody's going to discover you. People don't discover artists anymore. So what's the point of going to an open mic night? Just to perform in front of 100 people that wasn't even there for you in the first place? And you have to pay the promoter. The only person that wins is the promoter. Open mic nights don't work because if it did, then you will be able to tell me one artist has ever blew up from an open mic night. What else do we have? Just different bullshit Spotify hacks. That shit has never worked, right? We can keep going over and over and over of shit that's popular that's art, that artists are doing right now that does not work. Yet every artist, every time we do these discovery calls, when they book a call with me and my team, they're always naming the same six things that, that and, and, and I'm like, how did that work out for you? Oh shit, it doesn't work. But well, then why are you gonna pay them again next month? It ain't like, it, like think, think. See, my program, I'm showing you the true way, the true way to grow your streams, fans, and your income. Here's the thing, we're, I'm, I'm gonna be coaching you, me and my team, we're gonna actually show you, but you gotta do the work. And the problem is you, you, you're telling me that you want to blow up, right? You, you tell yourself, hey, I want to be a platinum artist. Or I want to make it big in the industry. But then why would you actually pay somebody else to do work that you don't even you don't even know what they're doing? Why would you put your fate of your career and your life in somebody's hands just because they say they have some service that can't that they can't even prove works? Why don't you just stop being lazy and boss up? Every artist tries to walk around with. Uh, narcissistic pride, trying to act like they're a boss. And the minute it's time to do boss shit, everybody turns into a fucking bitch. Most artists are really bitches to me. They're just talented, weak motherfuckers. Most artists that I meet, 
They, they make great music, but then when it's time to handle their, their business, they turn into little bitches. If you're, a real, if you're an artist and you really want to make it, if you really want to take your career to the next level, then boss the fuck up. Stop acting like a little fucking hoe and getting scared of fucking handling your business. That's crazy to me. Most of you, most of you, most of you artists, y'all remind me of strippers because y'all always waiting for another man to come in and save you. Because you don't, you don't believe that you can save yourself. Most artists have a stripper and prostitute mentality. Always waiting on another man to come do the work for you. Get the fuck up and stop being lazy. Outside of the studio, handle your business. You can't walk around and act like you a boss. You don't even fucking know how to market and promote your music. You're trying to walk around like you a fucking boss. You don't even know shit about the music business. You're trying to walk around like you a fucking boss. Get the fuck out of here. Right? So if you're an artist and you're watching this, if you really want to actually get to six figures, right? If you really want to actually get sold out shows, if you really want to actually have your own merch, if you really want to learn how to grow your streams and grow your fan base and get to that five to six figure income, you need to join my coaching program. I just opened it back up. So I'm going to put a link somewhere in this video or below this video. Click that link and book a call with me and my team because I promise you, and it's a free call, but I promise you it's a call that you, that you need. It's a call that's literally going to change your life. But it's time to boss up. We want to show you the strategies, but you got to do the work. Got to do the work. Stop being lazy. Most artists and strippers are the same people. They got the same mindset. Don't be, don't be an artist with a stripper mentality. Be an artist with a boss mentality.